You know, the Vada site is the debut full length from Black Eucharist. This is a South Carolina, I think South Carolina formed, and uh, I think there's a, one of the members now lives in New York, and this is a black metal band. Uh, we could tangentially say it's a black death metal band in some respects, but that would be, uh, think of early USBM, and you're kind of in the right area of where that distinction would uh, cross the line. So uh, the themes of this band are kind of interesting up front, uh, where you're, you're sort of getting the Everything about this band is influenced by Paul Ledney and uh, Profanatica, Havohe, and uh, I see it as, like, uh, if you're familiar with Short's work in Lucifer's Hammer, or m more likely Wind in the, of the Black Mountains, um, this is that uh, transition from death metal to black metal in around 1992 to 94 that we sound, found uh, throughout the United States in uh, various degrees of earnest uh, Approach to blasphemic um, black metal and death metal. So uh, we're not getting war metal here. We're not getting, uh, you know, that kind of thing so much as um, really well played, uh, beautifully recorded, um, and uh, th aggressive throughout black metal. And, you know, it's, it's like you either know exactly what that is or you're sort of confused how this relates to like the messier side of earlier pro fanatica and all that so it really comes down to their updated version of it and uh, this is from a band who started out as black ejaculate and they um their first uh ep had two right for revenge covers on it if that says anything so th those that sound was never as bass driven as um like pro fanatica would be or right for revenge would be so I mean, you, you, like for me, I kind of end up talking myself down a road where we do get to the type of USBM that led up to what like a band like Grand Belial's Key was, where there is a, you've reached that point of proficiency and uh, tightened rhythms that now call for a certain level of, of melodic touch. And we don't quite get there with this band, but we do get the sort of inventive grooves that you find in uh, earlier Grand Belial's Key. So... Uh, Without fully relating them to that type of thing, we get uh, just a very classic feeling of black metal played by death metal musicians. So uh, let's listen to a song and you can get kind of get an idea of the nonsense that I am spewing. So around 2018, these guys uh, started uh, formed uh, several bands. Uh, one of them being uh, Blood Ouroboros and another Demiser. Now Demiser kind of took off as sort of a black thrash thing at the right time, and uh, they've more recently started an old school death metal band called Impest. I think that's on Headsplit. Other demo is, and uh, this was a band that didn't seem like it was serious at first. It seemed like, yeah, we're we're gonna kind of do like early '90s black metal, um, and give it like a kind of more of a kick in the drums. And I think if you're a fan of like Dethrone the Son of God and uh, Drawing Down the Moon, you'll understand why they've gotten that idea right. But the drummer is just pretty damn good, so he kind of kicks it up a little bit and uh, adds some interest there. So there's a lot more nuance available to what you might like about certain riffs, certain this or that, but this is just a, a straightforward, uh, directly solid all the way through black metal record. And the big thing for me is that side B has all the riffs. It has more riffs. It, it, it pushes the rhythms, uh, even more as they move through the album. And, uh, they're like Zisivus Aliurus, uh, is a specifically, I think it's a really memorable song that, that brought me back to the album. And then, uh, the, uh, broken staff of the shepherd is, uh, probably the one to catch your ear first. So I love it when a record sort of, uh, introduces itself in a very strong way, but then has more on side B. And that's kind of the reason why I started talking about this record. It's kind of the reason why I reviewed it is there was a, a development of like, here's a great introduction. And I know exactly what that is. And they took it further. And I think that's a really strong uh, showing for a debut because it shows they've got personality, they've got an idea in mind, and they've uh, delivered these songs that are very finely written in a style where their standards aren't honestly all that high in terms of songwriting. So 
I found it memorable. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I think it's a great start for the band. And I think they've just presented well this first time around. So high recommendation. Well, a moderately high recommendation for me. It's kind of teetering on the edge there because I don't know how, um, how it will stand out in the long run. So I see a lot of potential there. So uh, you can read more about what I think and what I have to say in the review, uh, the written review, and uh, go listen to the album when it comes out. Yeah, that's all right.